that I haven't said on stream. And I know there's not like, it's not like all the old regulars are in here and shit, but I might even just highlight this and put this on YouTube. Fuck, for this, you know what? Let's just go ahead and I'm going to mute the game for a second. This is serious talk, right? Serious talk for a moment. Just for a moment. Um, I'm going to go back to, to this screen. So, I want to... Zana, you are a big part of this community. You've been around forever. You've been a regular since since I can remember, honestly. Um, And I let... I, t I do address this in the podcast a bit, but I wanted to to get this off of my chest. I almost, like, recorded a long YouTube video about it. Like, it was, like, 20 minutes long, and I was going to, like, fucking put shitty background music in it and everything, and, I'm you know, it just didn't feel real. Plus, I recorded on the wrong screen, so it didn't rec it recorded my desktop and not the camera. But that's not the big reason. The big reason was it was, like, 20 minutes long, and it felt, I felt like I was being disingenuous. And I, that was not the point. Anyway, I kind of ghosted again. And it's not the first time that I've, like, taken an unannounced hiatus from streaming and from being on Twitch and from being in Discord and from being on, even playing video games on Steam. I just kind of poof. And everybody has real life stuff. We all do. Everybody has to step away from it from time to time. Everybody does. And I don't think anybody's, like, upset about that. But I have chronically done that, like, on almost a yearly basis where, like, I'll just ghost the community in general and i'm sitting here thinking oh i want to get back to a point where the channel is growing and i want you know i want people to feel engaged again and shit like that and obviously that's not possible when you just poof and don't say why um and the why of it really is it was mental health reasons last year um with the job change with going from the smaller company I worked for to the huge company to a different smaller company. I can only talk about that so much because of non-disclosure agreements and stuff. But with all of that and all the stress and the financial stress, cause I went, I took a pay cut and then they were trying to withhold my check and they were trying to tell me that they didn't have to legally pay me in the time frame They had to legally pay me. And I had to threaten to get the state of Minnesota involved. I had to threaten to go to the district attorney to get my final paycheck paid in a timely manner. Otherwise, I would have not been able to pay my bills and we could have very easily lost the house. And then going from that into you know, working summers and pest control is 50-hour weeks minimum. You're looking more at like uh, usually like 60 to 70 hours a week. And then with the kids, I just couldn't balance and juggle everything I wanted to do along with everything I needed to do. Um, and I think I sent out like tweets about that last year too. Like it was just, it was not a good scenario and I was in a bad place and I just wanted to apologize on camera and on stream. Um, because despite needing it, I could have sent out a tweet. I could have put it in Discord. Like, hey, guys, I can't talk about it too much, but I need to step away for a while. And I feel like, I feel like there are people I haven't talked to and I haven't been able to apologize about because you guys, I think of you all as friends. You know, it's not like I just think of you guys as fucking text that pop up while I'm streaming. Um, and so you don't do that. To, you try not to do that to people that you, you care about. Shit happens, but... I, I can't promise that I'll never need another break, but if I do, I'm going to like tell people about it next time because it's fucking... Yeah, seems like it's the right thing to do. So that's it. That's my two cents on that. That's all I wanted to say on that. Um, that does get addressed in the podcast a bit, but 